They say uh, where there's a will, there's a way. And there's no better example of that than my next guest, who at 11 years old is truly breaking boundaries. Take a look. Despite having what some might refer to as a handicap, one little girl from Oklahoma is literally making giant leaps in the world of gymnastics. At the age of two, Avery Mitchell's leg was amputated. But in the nine years since her prosthetic limb was fitted, she has made a name for herself as one of the most promising young athletes in the country. I don't feel like an inspiration, but if I am an inspiration to other people, that makes me happy. And in classic Southern style, Avery doesn't waste one second of time feeling sorry for herself. This is how it's gonna be, and I've just gotta deal with it. That's how I think of everything. With the bedroom already full of medals, this 11-year-old has the Olympics in her sights. She also has a powerful message that each and every one of us can benefit from. If you have a prosthetic leg, don't let it be a wall. Let it be an advantage, because you can't break this leg. Well, you can, but it won't hurt as bad. Please welcome gymnast Avery Mitchell. Hey, Avery, how you doing? Welcome to the show. <laughs> well, Avery, this is a pretty good story you got going here. Nice to meet you. You too. Most people would say, look, I only got one leg. I can't possibly be a gymnast. When you think about your situation, your disability, what goes through your head? Well, if you really just put your mind to it and you think you can do it, you can if you have one leg, two legs, one arm, two arms. If you put your mind to it and you say you can do it, you can do it. Do, do, do you feel like judges treat you differently? Um, no, because we've made sure they don't treat me differently because I really don't have a disadvantage, so they don't need to treat me differently. Oh, uh, what grade you in? Six. You like school? You love school? Mm. You don't like, mm. Mm. My girl, yeah. <laughs> Tell the truth. I'm not, I, you know, you know, you know, look, you gotta go to school, you gotta get your education, because without education, you don't know nothing. Sadly. Yeah. Hey, you recently competed in the Nationals against mm -hmm. uh, able-bodied gymnasts. How, how'd you do? I got third on beam and 10th overall. What do you want to be when you, when you get older? Well, I would like to be a physical therapist, but I also want to compete in the Olympics. Really? So, do you watch gymnastics all the time? Yes. Yeah. Well, as often as I can. Who's your favorite gymnast? Lori Hernandez. Lori Hernandez? Oh, I met her before. Yeah, I've actually met her before. She's a real nice lady. We were shooting on the same lot where they were shooting uh, Dancing with the Stars. Did you see her on Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, I don't know. What, what, why do you look up to Lori so much? I don't know. She just does everything so perfectly, and she also has a lot of personality when she does stuff. Really? Yes. You are just too sweet, you know that? <laughs> Everybody, please welcome 2016 Olympic gold medalist, Lori Hernandez. Hey, Lord. Good so to happy see you again. again. Hey, darling. Hello, my dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at, both of us are kind of shaky, aren't we, huh? Yeah? <laughs> so nice to meet you. Look at your medals. That is something else. I was listening to your story back there. You were just so inspiring. So thank, thank you. you. This is so cool. This is really cool. <laughs> and she turned around and we're all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, so nice to meet you. <laughs> Lori, let me ask you something, darling. When, when you watch Avery, do you think she has what it takes to be a champion? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that you've used this as an advantage for you, that is already a change in perspective. I mean, you have the mindset of a champion. That's all that matters. 
<laughs> you just shaking. You just damn. <laughs> Whenever I get nervous, uh, you get butterflies because of a lack of oxygen. It just really? leaves your body, yeah. And so what you got to do is, to calm the nerves is, you have to take very deliberate, deep breaths. Mm -hmm. You got to blow it out purposefully and pull it in. Because your body gets so tense, it quits breathing. And then that's when your body just starts tripping. He said tripping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's cool. Come yeah, on. That's a, yeah. That's a, that's a regular word in my vocabulary. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, now, let, let, me, let me say this in front of Lori, because at tournaments, you can often be seen giving yourself a pep talk. How important is a positive mental attitude? Um, it is extremely important. It's uh, the deciding factor in how far you'll go in anything that you do, whether that be sports, whether that be a hobby, whether that be a job that you've pursued. You know, I mean, it's... It's important to have that mental toughness and, and to be able to look at something and say, you know, where can I find the good in this? So, wow. and that's what you do, Pumpkin. So, Avery, what would you like to say to your hero? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've always been an inspiration to me and I've always wanted to meet you. Oh! So... Yeah. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my heart. Yeah, and you're also about to host uh, American Ninja Warriors Junior. Damn, thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> well, what about this? What do you think of Avery maybe taking a shot at becoming American uh, Ninja Warrior? Yes, totally. You could totally do it. Oh, my goodness. Boy, you got every, every little bone in her body shaking right now. <laughs> I'm just feeling, hang in there, girl. It's all right. <laughs> hey, listen, we, we're going to take a quick break, but we have a balance beam here. Y'all want to see Avery in action? Are you ready to show us a little bit of your routine? All right, take it away, Avery. How you think she did? I think I can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> High five, girl. I see. That's pretty good. Oh, Avery, good. thank you so much for being here. I know you don't think you're an inspiration, but let me tell you something. You are inspiring people by the millions. <laughs> by the millions. You have truly answered your calling in life. You're doing your thing, girl. And you know what? I got a feeling we might see this girl in them Olympics, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Lori, I was talking to Lori uh, on the break, and I hear that you've decided to compete in the 2020 Olympics. That's the goal, yes. <laughs> also, everybody, in the meantime, you can catch Lori on American Ninja Warriors Juniors on Universal Kids and pick up a children's book. She's got this. Available in the stores now. Big hand for Avery. Big hand for Lori. Everybody, we'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.